When are we going to hang out, man? You tell me. You want to go to a basketball game? How are you doing? I'm good, just working through some files, you know? I'm Joanna. Joanna? I'm the office manager here at the One Street Company. What is it that you do? Um, I basically make sure this office is always looking gorgeous, and I make sure the agents have all their documents in, everything's together, all the deals are gonna run smoothly, and uh, just the first fresh face when you walk in the door. It sounds like it's a full house today. It is a full house. It's, it's exciting, like it hasn't been like this in a while, but Finally, we have everyone here. We have all the TCs. We have property management in here. We have Claire. We have Marcus. It's awesome. It's awesome to have everyone in the and some, office. Yeah. And some furry friends. Oh, and some furry friends. Yes, please get shots of Daisy and Levi. They're our mascot. Hey. How are you? Hey, Claire. Hey, what's up? So I'm the principal broker, which means I carry the broker's license in DC, Maryland, Virginia, and now Florida. I'm also general counsel which means I'm an attorney, so don't, don't hate me for that. I'm a recovering litigator. I am also the COO, the Chief of Operations. So I run the internal workings um, of the company to make sure we have proper agent support, human resources. Um, I rely heavily on our VP of Operations, Marcus. And um, we just try, we put out fires when we have fires, but more importantly, we try to prevent fires from happening. Hey. Mind showing me around? Yeah, yeah. Do it. So this is my office. Uh, this is my rum that Jay just gave me. Ooh. Oh, very important. This is really weird, okay? This is like a window into my life. This is my stepfather. I know, don't ask. He looks like Indiana Jones. But I, he sits here and he lives with Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Those are my... <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's my desk card. Okay. Uh, so... We've already met Joanna, this is our foyer, or entrance, whatever. Um, this is a PM department, property management department. There's Rocio. She's on the phone right now with Esther, who's also in the, uh, the PM department. You've met Marcus, this is our VP of operations, my right-hand man, uh, one of my favorite humans, and uh, my sanity, all wrapped in one right there. <laughs> and then around the corner, we put baby in the corner. This is Irina. Hello. She's transaction coordinator. She's got, how many agents do you have? I think 17 now. Okay, she's got 17 agents. We have um, folks that work underneath our TCs that turn and burn a lot of the offer writing and things of that nature, but she spearheads it and she oversees it and makes sure that agents are happy, that they're comfortable, that their stuff is timely and accurate, um, and uh, she does a great job. Um, and then here's more TCs. Here we have Sky. Say hi, Sky. Hi. You're supposed to How are you? Hi, Sky. Hi. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? <laughs> also, transaction coordinator is Selena. Alina um, has been here pretty much from the beginning. Six, seven years ago? Because you started after me, and I started next month will be seven years for me. This is, we weren't even one street then. That's how long ago it was. Three names. Three names. <laughs> Technicalities. We had to find the right one. A um, lot of things changed. A lot of growth. And you have to adjust to growth. and. When you have enough growth, you start realizing you need to get ahead of growth, right? So you can plan. I am Sky, and I am the newest TC here. So I'm just, you know, enjoying my day. We are usually the administrative support for our agents, and we have about 
I want to say each TC and there's three of us we have about 10 to 15 agents and if they need something done online um, they just reach out to us and then we do that for them and, and, and tasks vary from like writing up an addendum to writing an offer or um, just sending out an email for them so it really just depends it varies every day I have a training with a new agent so that's gonna take up a good chunk of my afternoon so I'm kind of prepping for that Alina Please. How long have you been here? I've been here for six years. <laughs> How do you like it? Um, I love it. I think it's a great place to get your career started, a great place to learn. Uh, it's a great community, so I think it's awesome. What's your favorite part about the gig? I love it. They, um, Claire and Sam are really hardworking. Um, they are super knowledgeable about real estate, about law, so any question you bring to them, they have the best expertise to answer. When I first started, I was probably one of the only like two employees here. So me and Sam are really, really did everything uh, like from start to finish. We didn't have any runners. There was no one doing showings. It was kind of just us, rentals, listing, commercial, anything. Um, so it was a really small team, like a real mom and pop shop brokerage. And then now we've really just expanded so much. So it's, it's really great to watch. March, March 30th will be my second year. Well, two years. How do you like Lunch Street so far? I love it. Very different, very non-traditional. Uh, I think everything, starting with the culture, with the diversity, with just overall atmosphere, the intensity, the pace of the work, there are basically like no limits and no, here it's just like everything goes. Whatever works, exciting, and yeah, I think it's just like you never know what to expect in a good way. Hey Luis. Hey Marcus. What's going on? I don't know, you tell me. What are you doing here? I am doing a lot of things. As you um, do. My name is Marcus Whitaker, um, and I do everything. <laughs> a little bit of everything. I am a man of many hats here. Um, I kind of really focus on the operational side and also function as our HR department. So all of our hiring and training and development of our staff. Um, but other than that, I just make sure that we are oiled and we are running smoothly and everyone is happy. I have been with One Street moving on my fourth year. How do you like it so far? I love it. There's no place like it. The inclusiveness um, and the relationship that I have with Sam and Claire. I think I've been the longest in the office without everyone being here and it feels like old times. It's just we're missing one person. We're not going to say their name. Um, but we're just missing one person in the office to make it feel like old times. Um, but it's great to have all the offices being used and people moving out and having a real lunch time again. Um, it's great. No! <laughs> just no, no, just no, no, no. Her. <laughs> what do I say? Marcus, okay. it's Daisy's world. What do you need, babe? So one of the things I tell new agents or agents that are considering us, and we don't take just anyone. We actually interview. Um, we're not a brokerage that just builds a big, fat roster of agents. We are a brokerage that takes the best. And even if you, uh, maybe you're new to the industry, but if you have a good personality, you have uh, high moral integrity, and you are looking to hone your craft, then we want you. But one of the things I say to agents all the time is I don't want you here if you don't 100% want to be here. And the reason for that is because this is a family and what you do out on the streets for your clients affects everybody else. So if you do not have the best interest of your client in mind at all times, if you're looking for a payoff of one deal rather than creating a name in this industry and a long career, I don't want you. I don't want you, we're not for you. Our agents don't look at this as a job, they look at it as their craft. And it is because the body of knowledge that you need to do real estate in three jurisdictions, and now four, is a lot. And you can never let off the gas pedal. You just can never let off the gas pedal. And there are times where even now, Sam will, you know, pick me up, he's like, okay, you're getting too in the weeds, you have to, bigger picture, and he reminds me, and I get re-energized, and we, we do it again, you know, we just, um, it's fun, it's just, it, I mean, my job is super fun. <laughs>